the spoke polygon charts, build circle charts, and this is what it looks like. In this tutorial, we are going to leverage our trigonometry and understanding of mathematics to draw two circles. One, which is the outer shape, and the other, which is the field circle, i.e. the color. Now we're going to do some simple mathematics, but let's get started. Let's open up Tableau. Let's start by loading our Superstore data source. Let's go to Microsoft Excel. Let's select, double click Superstore. Load this into Tableau. Once again, we will take orders and drag that into the query panel. Then we will go to sheet one. Now, as you've noticed, we've not done data densification at the data source level, so we are going to do it here, the worksheet. So right click on ship mode. Let's go to create calculated field and let's call this path. In our calculation, if and only if ship mode is equal to first class, then zero. Otherwise, 360. That will give us our 360 points to draw a full circle. Now we'll create our bin object. Right click on path. Let's go to create, select bins, and let's put the size as one. The last of our trio is the index calculation, so let's create that. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this index, and we will make this index minus one. Let's click OK. Now, let's just get started and draw our full circle. So I'm gonna create a calculation called X. This will be sine, radians, index. We've done this a few times before. Let's click OK. Now, I'm going to create a calculated field called Y. And I'm also going to add full circle. This will be cos, radians, index. The reason being is that we're going to have two circles drawn, one which will be the full circle, and the other which would take into account our calculation. Let's click OK. And let's just draw this immediately. Let's take X, drop it on. Let's take Y, drop that onto rows. And now because we're going to be playing with regions, let's take regions and drop that onto columns as well. To complete, let's take path, drag that onto the row shelf. Let's right click, ensure that show missing values has been selected. Let's change the mark type polygon let's get straight into it let's drag path bin onto the path mark almost there probably know what we're going to do next let's right click on x let's go to compute using and path bin let's do the same thing with y full circle right click go to compute using path bin and voila we've created our full circles. It is not too spectacular yet, but there's a few things that I want to take into account here. One is that the numbers at the moment goes from one to minus one. That's not going to help us too much when it comes to our calculation, so I want to make it a lot simpler. So I'm going to add one to this. So let's edit the Y full circle. Let's add one. Another interesting challenge is that it goes from 0 to 2 and we don't really want that. We don't want this size. So let's divide this all by 2. So now this gives us 1 which when it comes to working with percentages makes life a lot easier. We're dealing with 0 to 1 as opposed to minus 1 to 2 which is a bit more complicated. However, let's click OK. We'll remember that we're adding 1 and dividing by 2. 
So now is where the fun starts. We are going to create our Y calculation, but we are going to now have this as the field circle. Let's quit Y. Build circle. Yeah. For now, we are just going to use the same formula cross radians index plus one divided by two. So we will leave that there for now. So we are going to have a field circle and a full circle. So we're going to have two items. Let's bring that on to roll so you can see what it looks like. Compute using bin. So you can see now we're going to have two. On the full circle, the complete circle, I'm going to change. Actually, we can change the color a little bit later, but just to let you see what it would look like. As you can see, imagination is everything. We are going to have the full circle, and then the field circle will be slightly different. But we are going to get there. We are going to get there quite quickly, so don't you worry about it. What we want to do is now that we have our basic frame, we want to bring in our data set and populate this frame, configure this frame based on our data. So we are going to create, as you can imagine, cells, total cells, and percentage. So let's do that. Let's create a calculated field. We will call this TC cells, and this will be a Windows sum, sum of cells. Again, because we're doing data data densification, we want to ensure that our values are visible. I want to duplicate this. Let's rename this to TC. Total cells. So now we have the cells for a region and then the total cells for the whole view. Now let's go to create calculated field and let's create TC percentage. This will be quite simple. It will be TC cells divided by TC total cells as we've done in many of our exercises to date. Nice and simple. Now with our calculations complete, we are going to have some real fun. For our field circle, let's edit this. We are going to apply some mathematics. We are going to say if the point around the circle is less than from zero onwards, DC percentage, then I want you to keep drawing the circle. So we are going to put cos, cos, radians, index, plus one, divided by two. Else, I just want us to freeze at the TC percentage. End. Now let's have a think about that. This currently draws all around the circle from the top all the way down. Once it gets to a point where we compare it against the percentage, so it's 50%. Again, if it's below, keep drawing. If it's above, i.e. up here, just freeze it at the TC percent value. Let's click OK. Now, as you can see, it's all disappeared, but that's fine. Let's adjust our table calculation. Let's right click on Y field circle, go to compute using and select path bin. Let's edit the configuration of this table calculation. Right click, edit table calculation. Now the first thing I want to do is go to total cells. Aha. Uh -huh. By clicking path and region, we're taking the total cells of the whole window. Now you can see we're getting there. What I want us to do now is right click on the field circle and select dual axis. 
I now want us to right click on the header and select synchronize axis. Here we go. I also dislike the fact that Tableau likes to add measure names, but let's get rid of that. We don't want to see this. It doesn't add much value to my life. However, in the field circle, let's take region and drop it into color. There we go. Let's hide that. With this done, we can now hide the headers. Let's create a little bit of space. Another quirk of Tableau, I wish the resizing was a lot simpler. Sometimes resizing headers just does not work. I want us to take TC cells now. I want to drop that in the columns, just right of region. I want us to right click, convert to discrete. So now we have the cells value. I want us to do the same with the TC percentage. Drop it in the columns, right click, Convert to discrete. Now we have our percentage. Let's see if we can get this to work this time. Let's see if we can resize. Hopefully it will be happy and it is. Perfect. So now I want to right click on my TC cells. Format. Let's convert this to a currency. United States. And let's just leave it as it is, but let's make it zero decimal points. Also, as you know me, I like it bold. Let's give it a real value. Let's make it 14 so people can see it. Let's do the same with percentage. So click on the percentage, right click, format. Let's convert this to a percentage. And let's increase the font just a bit. We don't want it to be too much in the way. Let's see what 11 looks like. There we go. Now the last things I want us to do is right click on a blank space. Let's go to format. And as always, as always, we want to remove the grid lines, remove the zero lines. Let's remove the column divider. Oh, actually, let's keep the column divider as a dash. Let's remove the row divider. Let's rename our sheet. Build circle. Now again, we can have fun. We can drag order date onto the filters. Let's filter by year. Let's just select 2020. And let's show the filters. Let's modify the filters to be a single value list. And now we can have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We initially built out our grid and then we took our calculations from our data to TC cells and we retrofitted that. We put that into a bespoke data visualization. And as you can see, we have this really cool effect. This is our field circle job. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.